Hi, welcome to Topology. This is the second video on product spaces. So we will continue with the product spaces. If time permits, we will prove one of the most important results in product topology. Namely, if X and Y are compact spaces, then the product X cross Y is compact with respect to the product topology. Okay, this is our final goal for this lecture. Let us see whether we can reach that. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. So let us, where is my, ah. Uh, I just wanted to check whether uh, the screen sharing is enabled. So yesterday we are, last lecture we asked a question, suppose CXD, OD are metric spaces. Then we have the product metric, this is a maximum of D and D. Okay, this is if you want dx, dy, I do not write, so you understand delta x, y1, x1, y1, x2, y2. This is maximum of distance between x1, x2 and distance between y1, y2. Okay, so x cross y becomes a metric space therefore it has a product of the topology this is a metric topology induced by the metric induced by the product metric right okay now the metric d on x induces a metric a topology tau x which is the metric topology on x And similarly, D on Y induces a topology to Y. This is a metric topology on Y. Now, therefore, we have the product topology on cross Y. Let tau be the product topology on X cross Y. So, on X, Y, we have two topologies. Namely, tau of delta and the product topology tau. This is the metric topology induced by the product metric. This is the product topology induced by the metric topologies on X and Y. Okay. As usual, it's very important to understand the concepts and the question. Do not be worried about the answer. Okay, in all probability, uh, as far as I know, 99% of the topology courses do not deal with this problem at all. Okay, except in my book. Okay. So the so what do you expect? The answer is they are the same. There was no question. What is the relation between them? The question is, the answer is they are the same. Okay, just pause, review, understand. See, the moment you are trying to understand this kind of subtleties of the question, you will see your understanding of mathematics improves tremendously and the proofs also become much clearer okay the answers also become much clearer okay so that's why i spent a lot of time on this okay now let's try to understand so if i look at tau topology what is the basic open sets here so let me call it b delta these are the metric balls b delta given at a point let us say a comma b with r Okay, right, these are open balls centered at point A comma B in X cross Y, radius R with respect to the product metric. So, when does X, Y belong to this? These are the things you should already know if and only if delta of X, Y and A, B is less than R. But this is maximum of distance between X and A and distance between Y and B is less than R. This happens if and only if both should be less than A. Okay, this happens if and only if X belong to B A R and Y belong to B B R. These are with respect to the space X and Y as usual all of us are intelligent, so I will not write it. Since A is an element in capital X, then BR should be the open ball in X, etc. Okay? 
Therefore, what we found is B delta AB comma R okay, is nothing other than BAR into BBR. Do you understand this? So, let us look at the picture. This is my X. This is my Y. And this is my A. This is BAR. And this is my B. Okay. And this is my BBR. So, that's going to be this object. open. This is going to be your B A with respect to delta R. Is that okay? Right. Now, let us look at see now what is the basis for the product topology on x cross y that is how the form take open sets u in x and v in y and look at u cross v ok these are the basic open set therefore if you want to call it b of ok tau the basic this is going to be u cross v where u is in tau of x and v is in tau of y this is how we define product topology right now notice that the first thing you should observe is let us look at b delta i hope uh, that's what i wrote as b delta yeah this is the basis okay script b delta so this b delta is completely contained in b tau because b delta any element here is of the form b a r cross B, B, R, they, are, they belong to tau x and they belong to tau y. This belongs to tau y, therefore it is of this form. You understand this? So, pause, review, proceed. You, you understand? So, I only have to show tau delta equal to tau, okay, therefore tau delta will be contained in tau. Right? Because anything in you, you in tau delta, call it, let me denote some other notation, w in tau delta, then w, if you give me an x in w, rather a, b in w, I know there is an r positive, so that b delta a r is contained in w, b, so a, b. Right? You understand that? Therefore, what I have shown now? Therefore, anything which is open here is going to be open in tau. Okay? Because this is this is nothing as in B A R cross B B R. Therefore, this means any A B belong to some open set U cross B which is contained in W, where this is in tau X, this is in tau Y. Therefore, A B is tau interior point of W. That is for any AB. Therefore, any W is tau open. These kind of subtle things people don't explain. Take some time. Go through again. <coughs> so, now WB tau open. I want to know whether it is tau delta open. Right? So, how do I prove that? So, let A B belong to tau. Since this is tau open, okay, there exists U in tau X, V in tau Y. So, that what happens? A B belong to U cross V and U cross V is contained in W. Right? But remember U is open and tau X is the metric topology. That means, there is an R positive so that a belong to B A R and B R is contained in U. And similarly, there is a B R prime so that this is contained in B. So, call it R 1 and R 2. Okay? Now, choose R to be the minimum 
of R1, R2. Right? Then what do I know? I know that V A R is contained in V U and B B R is contained in V. Therefore, B A R cross B B R A B is an element of this that is contained in B A R 1 cross B A R 2 sorry B B R 2 that is contained in U cross V that is contained in W. Don't be intimidated. What all I am saying is very easy. Okay, right. <coughs> you can draw pictures also if you want, but this is very easy to understand. So I do not. Okay, right. Now what is this? This is nothing other than B delta of A B cross R. So what I have shown for every point A B in W. Okay, there is an R positive so that the basic open set in the delta topology okay, is contained in W. That means A, B, you know, R is a tau delta interior point of W. Therefore, W is tau delta open. Okay, This is what we wanted to show. So, pause, review, proceed. Okay, so let me just uh, break. Say, as I said, this one most often is not done in any course, but this will tell you how to learn work with product topology. You see, there is a product metric on the product x cross y of metric spaces, and there is product topology coming out of metric topology on x cross y. So, you have to understand all these concepts. How are the basic open sets look like? So, what is that I have to prove? How do I prove that? Using only basic open sets, we are able to complete with a little bit of geometric thinking. So, this is a very good exercise. Go through it. Even if it is not done in your class, you don't find in your notebook or many textbooks, it's worth learning. Okay? Okay, now let's go to the next thing. Next thing is, this is a very, very uh, standard thing. Okay, yes, especially if you go to Elitist Institute, the, okay, this is a question they will ask you when you say you are interested in topology. <laughs> what is that? So, this I call it is a lemma, it's a very trivial observation. It's actually an observation. Let X be a topological space. Let D denote the diagonal X, X. X varies or capital X. This is called the diagonal. Okay, this is a subset of X cross Y. Okay, now the space X is Hausdorff if and only if look at diagonal is a closed subset of X cross Y. But what is the topology? With product, of course, under product topology. with respect to product topology. So, think of the picture, this is your x, this is y, this is x cross x, this is your diagonal, okay, this is your delta. So, if it is closed, then the space is outdoor and the converse. Let us give a proof, the proof is very easy. So, what is that I want to prove? Let us assume x is outdoor. So, I want to know whether this is closed. So, what does that mean? I start with a point, okay, A comma B, okay, not in delta, right? So, I want to prove X cross Y minus delta is open. This is closed if only this, right? So, I will take any point not in there, okay? Now, what do I know? A, B both belong to X and the A comma B is not in the diagonal. That means A is not equal to B, right? Therefore, A, B in X and A not equal to B. Therefore, by, since it's Hausdorff, there exists open sets U containing A, V containing B and said so that 
u intersection v is empty right again think of the picture so this is your b and this is your a so this you see this is your a and this is something like your b so i can find this u and v right therefore you just mark it as this is b this is a take this product this is u cross v right so i want to say u cross v notice that this is a basic open set in product topology and also a cross b belong to a this then i claim u cross v intersection delta is empty that means u cross u cross b is containing x cross y set theory different delta and your a b belong to this right therefore any a b is an interior point of the complement of delta that means the complement is open okay so i only have to prove this suppose false what does it mean there is an x y which is in u cross v and intersection delta since x y is in delta in particular this this means x equal to y right but x y belong to u cross v that means x cross x belong to u cross v that means x belong to u intersection v this is nonsense because by our choice this is empty okay is the proof clear so what you have shown if x is hausdorff implies the diagonal is closed okay pause review proceed converse let delta be closed in x cross y okay now you give me point a b in x so that a is not equal to b so what is it i have to show i have to show there exists open sets u containing a v containing b and u intersection v is empty right okay how will i find it since a is is not equal to b notice that this is not in delta because diagonal right but that means where does it belong to a b belong to x cross y minus delta which is open right so but this is open where in the product topology so that means there exists a basic open set okay which is our form u cross v so that a b belong to u cross v and u cross v is containing x cross y minus delta do you understand this this is open it since is open what does it mean there is a basic open set u cross v so that a b belong to u cross v and u cross v lies in the complement of delta which is same as saying u cross v intersection delta is empty right this happens if only this happens right now i i found u a in u b in v i want to know whether u intersection v is empty suppose false that means what there is an x in u intersection v therefore x comma x belong to u cross v yeah that means u cross v intersection delta is not empty that's a contradiction okay pause review proceed okay good i am in screen share only so go through the proof isn't very interesting 
draw a picture and try to understand okay learn this this is the best way to master product topology okay it's not abstract it's very very concrete okay don't worry about uh, x if you draw like this y draw like this how to take x as y think of it is only something like this this is x this is y you can do that that will already give enough intuition how to work with that and that intuition also can be translated into rigorous proof okay very good now let's go to the third one okay what is what should be the third one okay uh, yeah so let me prove the most important result so th this is a theorem x and y are compact spaces okay with the product topology and consider x cross y with product topology then it is compact that is yeah right the proof is easy if you learn to think geometrically it's really really easy okay let us go through the proof carefully okay the first thing is okay I can assume I am given an open covering by means of basic open basic open sets what I am doing that is I am recalling this fact forget x is a space okay tau is a topology and b is a basis for tau then x is compact if and only if any open cover every open cover by means of basic open set okay admits a finite sub core okay I hope all of you know see suppose you use an open cover right if suppose I have a cover so that each u here is actually a basic open set that's what it means okay so if x is compact then the, this will also admit a finite cover that's easy the other con converse is true suppose u is in uh, an open cover okay for each x in x okay there is a bx uh, okay there there is a u so that x belongs to u in u right uh, and since the script b is a basic therefore there exists bx in B so that x belong to Bx and Bx is contained in U. Call it if you Ux. Yeah. Now let's look at this set alone. This is uh, as x varies over capital X. This is an open cover. And therefore this admits a finite subcore. Let us say Bx1, Bxn. Now remember Bx1 is contained in some Ux1 and this is containing uxn therefore x equal to union bx1 sorry bx1 union bxn but this is containing union ux1 union uxn but that is containing x therefore equality course therefore I admit a finite subcover I just went through the proof quickly because you remember I always say that whenever you are using a very trivial easy result you should stop don't assume that you go back and see whether you can get the proof within few seconds try to do it by practice you will see you will be amazed that you can do it just now you did right try it again okay so let u be an open cover consisting of some ui cross vi i and i and where are ui ui are in the topology 
Oh, okay. This is an open cover. Okay. Right. Yeah, naive attempt which many students, when I ask, good students are, what they do is, so let us look at this UI. This is an open cover of X and VI. This is an open cover of Y. Therefore, find, find a finite subcover. Okay. And finite subcover, something like UI1. Let me simply write U1 UM and B1 VN and take the product UI cross VJ and INJ vary. Okay. They would like to claim this is an open cover. Okay. That is correct. But it is not a finite. Why? Because, see, anything here in the open cover is of the form UI cross VI, but you, the open cover which you got has elements of the form UI cross BJ. If I is not equal to J, this fellow is not here. Okay, this does not belong to you. Right? So, this is not a sub cover. It may be an open cover, but it is not a sub cover. Do you understand the subtlety? This is usually not explained in the class. Okay, but when usually I ask my students to try, they will come up with this. It is a good thing. There is nothing wrong. Come up with this. Then try to understand where we went wrong. This kind of subtle analysis, careful analysis helps us to master the subject. Okay, please go through it. Now, let us look at R2. Right? Let me take one small line segment like this. Right? The Think of R2 as R cross R. Okay? Right? Th this you know is compact because this is a continuous image of the interval. Okay, suppose this goes from let us say AY1 to AY2, then this is T going to A comma T and this is from the interval T1, T2, sorry Y1, Y2 to R2. Okay? This is a continuous map, so image of this compact interval, therefore it is compact. Now try to let us say I want to cover it by means of okay basic open set. What are the basic open sets? Remember, and are the basic open sets are interval, and therefore I can think of the basic open set like this. This should be line, but it's okay. <coughs> right now, these are the basic open sets. So, these are the some some interval cross another interval. Right now, you see that. Something very interesting happened. Do you see that? There exists something which is the smallest. You see that? This doesn't even reach here, right? So, this entire thing is covered. Not only this is covered, but I actually cover some band around that line segment. Okay? Please convince. Pause, review, proceed. This is just a geometric picture. Try to understand what is happening. This is going to play a crucial role from what we want to do. Okay. So now let us look at <coughs> x plus y. Right. Fix an a in x. Then I look at singleton a <coughs> cross y. I claim this is compact. 
y let us look at the map y going to x cross y the map y going to x cross y okay this is i want this is continuous why this is continuous remember yes in the first session we proved if i have a map z to x cross y and if i write the map as f1 comma f2 then f is continuous if and only v1 is continuous therefore what is f1 of y it is sorry this is a constant and the f1 is from where to where y to x and f2 of y is y that is f2 is from identity map so both are continuous therefore this map is continuous and what is the image the image is precisely this set and what is our assumption this is compact therefore compactness follows okay right what is the picture therefore i have this is my x this is my y and this is my a and this is my a cross y right okay now since a cross y this is compact and remember my u is an open cover of x cross y and hence it's an open cover of a cross y but i know this is compact right therefore what do i know i know there exists a finite set yeah of elements from where of the form so finite set let me call it a f a which is indexed by i so that u i cross v i union i in f of a this is this contains a cross y do you understand this why do i denote this is a finite set yeah, the whole thing depends upon a that's why i call it f a do you understand that now let us look at something <coughs> now remember the this contains a cross <coughs> right that means a is common to each and every i in f a yeah right you just choose only those things which ca- which are needed okay so that a is uh, there otherwise it's not needed for me yeah. is that clear to you okay right so choose a huh? if a is not in ui then that's not going to, going to contribute it will not cover this you understand that therefore i i will choose such, such that a belong to ui for all i in f a do you understand this assumption why i am making okay therefore if i take ua to be intersection of ui i in f a this is a finite intersection of open sets containing a therefore this is an open set containing a because a belong to each and every ui and a finite intersection of open sets is open therefore this is open set containing a is that clear right yeah okay now let okay therefore what we have is therefore what we have is this set this finite collection u a cross v i as i varies on your fa okay is an open cover of u a cross y so let's look at the picture the, that's a picture which i drew earlier i'll just draw only this yes an easy picture 
okay this is this is one basic open set this is another basic open set okay maybe you think of this this is a basic open set okay then what is the common intersection only this much from here to here this will be the my ua will be this okay this will be your v1 this will be your v2 is that clear okay so this is yeah, mankras call this as this as a tube limo so what have we shown now so you, let us recall pause review proceed so u is some ui cross bi i in i okay this is an open cover by means of basic let me call it basic open cover that means it's an open cover consisting of basic open set okay then for each a in x then we find a finite subset f a in i and an open set u a containing a and open set b i in v i for each i in f of a so that u a cross y is a subset of u a cross v i i in f a ok this all we have shown summary ok so now I use compactness of y so now how to use compactness of x so as a varies over capital x let us look at this u a this is an open cover of x so again the picture is this is your ua okay and this is your a this is ua so i have covered it finitely many and for this also i'll have this may be some ua dash and this may be some ua double dash etc or ua1 ua2 ua3 etc whatever okay so the, since x is compact again there is a finite subset f of x is a finite subset where in x now so that u a as in a in f is an open cover right so these are the open covers but remember the way i got my u a is this is going to cover this fellow and this fellow is going to cover this and this fellow is going to cover this right so you can see this collection claim what is the collection I am looking at collection of u i sorry u a cross v i I said that a belong to f and I belong to f a this is an open cover and remember where was my u a okay now you you okay so let us claim this is an open cover so you start with a point x y okay then there exists a in f such that x belong to u a right that's an open cover now therefore let's look at now x y x y belong to where u a cross y therefore there exists an i in f a so that my my x y belong to u a cross v i is that okay so this is an open cover and this is finitely many in number therefore i have found a finite open cover yeah right now you may ask 
is this this is a finite open cover correct okay but is it a finite sub cover okay remember my original naive proof i pointed what the mistake is i will get an open cover it may not be a sub cover but you want to know whether it's a sub cover but that's very easy remember each ua is actually sitting in some ui right what was my ua uas intersection ui i running over fa you follow that therefore if i belong to that i i can take this ui this is contained in ui cross bi yeah therefore actually i have found an open cover open finite sub cover okay please go through the last bit of argument what we finally got was ua cross bi where a varies from the finite subset of x and i varies over the finite subset f a of i they are finally even in number no problem we also verified that's an open cover all of them are open sets and that's an open cover but what was our ambition our goal was to find an open sub cover of the original cover the elements ua cross vi may not be in the original thing right but should i worry about no because ua was intersection of ui where i varies over fa therefore U, ua cross vi is actually contained in ui cross vi right therefore i can replace each of the ua by by that particular ui is it convincing please go through the argument okay and see whether there is any mistake in this we will meet again take care and stay safe so are you convinced about how to make it a regress argument okay let me explain again so what you have shown is this collection ua cross vi so that a varies over f and i varies over f this is an open cover of x cross y okay but this not need not be a sub cover but what we know is ua cross vi is contained in ui cross vi okay this i again the same index which runs over f a is it clear yeah okay so this collection ui cross vi as where does i vary i varies over a and where does a vary this okay this is a finite open subcor okay that's because you give me any xy what we found it is there is a a so that it belong to ua vi but that is contained in ui cross vi therefore that belong to this okay and all these elements are here okay i just wanted to confirm okay i just said it i thought it will be clear but after i stopped recording i had a doubt whether i explained it well enough that's why i took another thing okay so how many elements will be there for each i y in f okay there is mod f elements so these are the number of elements in this set right for each i the i'll have ui cross vi so how many elements will be there mod f elements for each a so this is the number of elements in this cover okay i hope you appreciated this okay i thought i explained enough but uh, i was not sure but in the last minute i thought the time is up so i went little pause so i was i myself was not convinced i explained enough that's why i came back to explain hope you enjoyed it take care stay safe